Chef Freddy here from Fantasy Springs with my tip of the week. This week I'm going to do tagliatella pasta, carbonara, Chef Freddy's way. Get a nice large skillet on the stove to heat up a tablespoon of olive oil. We're going to start with six ounces of julienne pancetta bacon. So we're going to render that all the way down so all the fat has been released and the pancetta bacon is crispy. We're going to take that pancetta bacon, put that in another pan on a very low heat on the back burner just to get it a little further crisp. That way we can start our sauce before this pan gets too dark. A little bit more olive oil. And we're going to add about two large shallots. Take a heaping teaspoon of minced garlic. Now before that garlic browns, we're going to deglaze with some Pinot Grigio and that'll stop it all from cooking. About two thirds of a cup. And if you look down at the pan now, you'll see all that good stuff's been loosened up. But we're going to continue to reduce, get all the alcohol flavor out. For a good two minutes, it's time to add, that's right, heavy cream. We're going to let this simmer for a couple of minutes, but we don't really need it to reduce. And what we're doing here now is we combined a little bit of cornstarch and cold water. Okay, now you have to do it. You have to swirl this in while your sauce is simmering, or it won't take, it won't grab. Now, let's season. You want to use a little kosher salt and some fresh ground black pepper. We're going to add a few pats of butter. We could always add a little bit more later. And some Parmesan Reggiano, it's my favorite Parmesan cheese. We're going to add back that nice and crispy julienne pancetta bacon. Now, traditionally, they add peas, and they're usually frozen peas. That's where I like to call it Chef Freddy's way, or my way. I take julienne fresh snow peas, fine julienne cut, blanched in salted water, shocked in ice water. Now it's time to toss the pasta. Now's when also we want to add a little bit more Parmesan or Reggiano and another couple little pats of butter. Now we're going to turn the heat off and let this cool. You might even want to put it in a separate bowl at that point. But before we serve it, we're going to swirl in a few egg yolks. Finally, we're going to grate a little fresh nutmeg. And there you have it, tagliatella carbonara, my way. I'm Chef Freddy from Fantasy Springs, and I'll see you next time. Forget about it.